Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Hey everyone, welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel, where this time I'm over at Little Caesars, because after checking out the thin crust pepperoni pizza back in the day, along with the original extra most bestest even further back than that, I think it's time we combine the two and complete the trifecta. So as you already know, and without further ado, let's get into the extra most bestest thin crust pepperoni pizza. And as always guys, we're looking at one of the best values in fast food pizza by far. This is looking pretty fantastic. So let's break this one down, starting off with the fact that we've got a large Little Caesars pizza here, guys, topped off with a nice blend of Munsta and mozzarella cheese from edge to edge, actually an extra portion of it. And the other star of the show that it's sitting on is actually some vine-ripened tomato sauce. They're standard pizza sauce, actually. But guys, the main star of the show on top of all of that is about 50 slices of pepperoni, about 80% more than their classic pizza, and it's also edge to edge and looking pretty nice. And not to be outshined by all that pepperoni, the other major star of the show is obviously the thin crust. And as you can see, they're taking it to the extreme, guys. It looks almost cracker-like, but extremely thin. And it's definitely looking nice and toasty. And of course, it complements all the other goodness in this pizza, all for about $6.49, so not bad. All right, so let's see if this one's gonna deliver. It's the extra most bestest thin crust pepperoni pizza here at Little Caesars. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, definitely thin along with looking very crispy looking. And guys, the aroma in my car is pretty fantastic at the moment here. So let me put this down and we'll definitely get into this. But guys, again, pretty awesome for $6.49. Let me pull up one of these slices over here and give you a look at it. Very excited to give this one a shot right now. I'm in the mood for this. And this is actually looking really, really good. Nice and toasty on the bottom, as you can see. A little greasy, as I noticed, as I was picking the slice up here right now. But guys, it is pepperoni pizza after all. Let's give this a shot. It's the extra most bestest thin crust pepperoni pizza here at Little Caesars. Let's bang it out. Mmm. You know, maybe I was getting a little ahead of myself by saying that this was going to be a banging situation right now, aside from saying, let's peep this out because I did that earlier. But guys, it is a banging situation. I'm glad I kind of jumped the gun slightly because the flavor is amazing, as you'd expect it to be from Little Caesars. It's got all the right flavors of pepperoni, a solid amount of cheese, the toastiness of that crust on the bottom, and overall, the presentation, again, very inviting. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Oh, yeah, come on. I like the fact that the piece that I picked up is kind of curled in the back here, guys, because it makes it a little bit easier to hold. And as you can see, very cracker-like with the type of thin crust here. Like I mentioned earlier, they're taking this to the extreme because it's thin crust. But guys, it's virtually a little bit more than a few sheets of paper high, actually. But I'm really digging the quality. It's nice and toasty. And of course, the flavor of that Munstead mozzarella is complementing it nicely with that pepperoni. You know, I don't know what's more fun about this right now. The fact that I'm having Little Caesars for the first time since doing the return of their pretzel crust pizza along with the pizza sauce, which you guys are probably seeing popping up on your screen here right now. I gotta say, I'm kind of glad to return to this one and obviously combine it with all that pepperoni action on top of it. But aside from all that, I gotta say it's ultra fun picking this up from their pizza portal in store. And as you're seeing here on screen, I think that's part of the fun overall, guys, because once you pop in that code and pull this out of the system that they have over there, it is just a very lovely situation. Very contactless in terms of how it works. And overall, it's fast and efficient. And before you start commenting down below, hashtag unsponsored. I just love showing the process in my videos, guys, and I have to admit it is super fun to do. On top of the flavor of this, let's keep going in. Mmm. I'm just so in the mood for this right now. Tasty. I guess it really is all about the flavor, and obviously with me here in my reviews, the way I do things, of course, the presentation also scores big time. Now, looking at what I got here right now, I do have to say my cut of this pizza right now is a little bit on the haphazard side. I think it was made a little too quick, actually, there, because some pieces are a little bit larger than others. Some are not really shaped correctly in terms of just the size, meaning some kind of look like little squares and some are more rectangular. And overall, guys, I have to say there's one in particular. Let me pick this one up for you here right now. That's one of the corner pieces there. Take a look at that. That is kind of funny right there. So if you're really kind of hankering to go for like a traditional style cut on this one, more triangle, you have a little bite-sized nug right over here. I might as well just do it, right? Still pretty tasty with a lot of cheese though. Even in that little piece, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, that actually is really, really good, guys. Let me pick up another piece of this really quick because I'm really digging the fact that the ones in the very back have this little curved edge over here. This could be something they may want to consider doing in the future. It's almost reminiscent of their deep dish, but just showing you how much less of it that you actually have here. I'm really digging that overall. But guys, nice quality, and I have to say again, a lovely situation on this, guys. A beautiful thing overall, and I gotta say the toastiness again. I really love the fact that that little grease action from the pepperoni is kind of soaking into it. And of course, it goes nicely with all the oils of the cheese on this one. Very, very awesome. 
The extra most bestest thin crust, just six forty nine. Pizza, pizza. So yeah, I think you get the point in terms of where I'm going with this one right now, guys. It still is one of the best values in fast food pizza that's out there, and obviously with almost fifty slices of pepperoni on top of that, and a lot of cheese from edge to edge, they're really kind of giving you that deliciousness from edge to edge, as they say, and that really does satisfy, especially for six forty nine. Pretty awesome. So with all that said, I'm gonna have to give the extra most bestest thin crust pepperoni pizza here at Little Caesars a rock solid nine out of 10. And the only reason I'm docking at a point is because the cut of my pizza is definitely all over the place here right now. But of course, I definitely like the edges that I have on one of them, or at least two or three or four, or five of them actually, on one side of the pizza. But still guys, it virtually is a 10. It's Little Caesars, you know the flavor. I definitely recommend it to you. As always, pretty tasty stuff. All right, so if you've made it this far into the review, I already know you're probably gonna be giving this one a shot if you haven't already. So I'm simply just gonna ask you, which do you prefer, the thin crust pizza like I reviewed right now or their standard deep, deep dish? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. I'm not gonna fault you too much for raising the price slightly on this one since the last time you brought it out, Little Caesars. I believe initially when you launched it, it was $6. So at $6.49, I think it's a pretty decent pill to swallow considering it's extra most bestest. A lot of pepperoni and a lot of cheese. Bang it. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.